it is what is today it is a uh, now wednesday 1 a.m eastern time today this morning we are playing some nautica whichever way it's up there yep uh it's my third stream uh i love me some sonatica i love this game so uh i'm just gonna go ahead and uh, jump right in here in a second um this is the the original sonatica there's a new one it's uh not quite released yet it's still in development don't know when they're releasing it last they said it was going to be towards the end of the year who knows uh it's a fun game but uh still still very early development anyway somewhat early development um but yeah so let's uh jump right in i'm actually going to start a new game not that one that one all right glitch there for a second normally i play this with a controller i'm going to attempt to do this with a keyboard this time and mouse Thanks. Thanks, Pat. Thanks for joining. It's early. I should probably be getting ready for bed, but eh, who needs sleep? Alright, let's play some survival. And the loading screen. Exciting. I'm a, I am one for open world survival type of games. This is one of those. So we start the game in an escape pod. is the Aurora we are departing. Not looking so good for the Aurora. Not looking so great for our escape pod. Ouch. We done got knocked out and we are awake. Does one do naturally in a fire? Grab a fire extinguisher. And make quick use of it. That is no iPad. PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive, to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. Alright. Hopefully we don't need this fire extinguisher anymore. Okay. So we gotta repair the radio. We have a fabricator. We have some storage. I don't need those right now. Let's throw this guy in there. That button. Definitely different using the keyboard and mouse. This is where we're at. Actually, I should have gone up here. Yeah, it does pretty good graphics on this game. Heck, <laughs> you bar. <laughs> and there's our ship. Not looking so hot. Did 
Now in this game we do have survival issues. And we need to craft some supplies. Let's catch us some fish. Yeah, that or get seasick doing it. New creature discovered. Actually, that is much easier with a mouse. And catch that guy. Oxygen. And we are limited on air, naturally. <laughs> As one does when they swim. Check our PDA. These are basically all the items that we uh, have currently have access to or have ran into. Before I drowned, let's go up here. And we'll look at our PDA now. Basically, we have to explore. Oh boy, these guys hurt. Two of them, what are the chances of that? So these guys come out of these little pods. Luckily, they also emit sulfur. Oh boy. There's actually do not have much use in this game. I think there's like one thing you can use sulfur for. Stones you can break these normally give you titanium and copper, which we use a whole heck of a lot. Basically makes it to where we can uh, preserve fish to store them longer. But she has to start cooking them. And, uh, ouch. They go bad pretty quick, but salt makes it to where you can uh, store them. It also causes thirst issues. looking for this pink looking fish it's called a bladder fish they are pretty much your only early source of water there's one got him creature discovered alien uh. life forms may have unexpected applications Utilizing alien resources is a proven survival strategy. Much easier with a mouse. So, what do I need? I need to build a repair tool.
requires... I got sulfur, titanium, I need silicone rubber. Silicone rubber is... Grapevine. Let's see, how do I do creep fine without a knife? When I think about it. Creep fine, you normally have to cut. Can I build a knife? No, so maybe I don't have to. Oh, no, I do not. It's actually not cutting it, just collecting it. Didn't I get one of those already? I'm gonna make it pop. Cut. Now I can start repairing this. Lightport secondary systems online. Running full environment diagnostic and outputting results to databank. I use the mechanical fabricator. And now that restore my health. That will regenerate after like an hour, thirty minutes or so. Repair this guy. We all need radios. And we have a message. This is Aurora. Distress signal received. Rescue Radio operation will be dispatched to your location in 9, 9, 9, 9, oh boy. 9 hours. Continue to monitor for emergency transmissions from other life pods. Log kind of shows everything we've discovered and such. And need to eat and drink something. I'm gonna throw these in here because I don't need it right now. Fish. It is common for those accustomed to synthetic foods to be repulsed by eating an animal carcass. Remember that humans survived this way for millennia. Uh -huh. Who can too? Preferably, yes. Some water. That gave me a lot less than I thought. If only cooking fish was this easy. I need this fabricator at home. Good enough. Tons of fun. We have any waypoints yet? We do not.
Probably had the right idea and went home and went to sleep. There is no way I'm going to sleep right now. I need a scanner. These things are cool because you can use it for oxygen. Let's get one more breath full. Take you and you. New creature discovered. I need to start collecting titanium, <laughs> copper. Oops, I didn't mean to let you go. <laughs> I do. later. I really need is something to shine a light with. titanium and to make a battery I need something there we go um acid mushroom and copper I don't have either mushroom easy to get Copper, sure, probably is. Get a few of these. Detecting increased local radiation levels. Trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core sustained during planet fall. So the problem is the Aurora is eventually going to go nuclear. Unless we can repair it. But we're one person. Very unlikely. Oxygen. Right now we can't even stay down underwater for very long on a planet full of water. Where is all the titanium? Once I have the proper tools, I can find it easily. But right now, it's just kind of hard. I need to branch out a little bit more. Oxygen. I pick these up. Oh boy. And <laughs> two, of course. Hey, there's an alcove. Outcrop, I should say. Copper there's our copper. Is an essential component of all powered equipment. Your probability of survival has just increased to unlikely, but plausible. Oxygen. Of course.
we're making our battery. Or officially called a power cell. Now we can make our scanner. But this will basically we can make blueprints. The scanner can be or discover to blueprints. blueprints. From salvage technology and to accord alien biological data. Let's make a knife too while we're at it. Put that in here. Oh, I thought I had more titanium. Oh wait, I do have titanium. I can make it with that. Now I can make her now. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Well. We'll need it later. That is a cargo container. Still, oh, nope. I am now short for a knife. <laughs> Whoops. Luckily, titanium, not hard to find. Oh, yeah, that's right. Let's move this thing. Oh, I just dropped it. Find the easiest way. Ah, we'll move around. I'll just do that that way. Let me scan you. Oxygen. Oh yeah. Breathing. And many times where I'm like way underwater, it tells me I need oxygen, and I still completely forget. We have got a message, which is what that upper right-hand corner icon is. Words of wisdom do we have? Receiving pre-recorded distress call laying back. This is LifePod 3, uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. I don't think that's gonna happen. Should probably now have a waypoint somewhere. There it is. 476 meters. I am not swimming that far right now. Not with what I've got. Or what little I have got. Now we can start exploring and trying to find new things. Oxygen. Oh yeah, naturally. things to scan in these little containers as well. Nothing there. Nothing there. Oh, oh look at this. I can build a countertop. That's that's gonna do me a whole lot of good. Grab trap. Good boy. Oh, it's going dark. Woo. I just saw a, s a fragment for the guess. Oh, no. That's a beacon. But we'll need those later. Use these to mark things as we go explore this planet and then get lost. I'm like, how do I get back here again? This makes it to where we can find it. Like a marker. Obviously, beacon. New blueprint acquired.
game to get a pretty good story. In unusually distinct and diverse ecological biomes. Further study recommends oxygen. Oh boy. cargo container over here. Yeah, you're going to see me doing a lot of uh and uh as if it's 3D because after a while staring at it, you feel like you're pretty much in it. We don't need no stinking helmet for VR. Uh... Pretty much if you die, you pretty much just lose what's in your inventory. I don't think you lose everything. I think you just lose some of the stuff. But you have to go find your stuff to get it back. Which, from where we're at right now, not that big of a deal. But later on you get like really far away. There's like a whole lot of dangerous areas. And the uh, soundtrack also is wicked later on, too. So, what else can I build right now that will help? Oh, standard tank only need three titanium, which I can now build. It'll give me a little bit more. There's like three or four levels. Which I think it's, it's maybe in five different tanks you can get. Acquired. But I have to start base building before I get the more advanced stuff. Bends, need two silicone rubber. I make my survival knife. Weapons were removed from standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. The knife remains the only exception. Organization here. It's a fun game. I've uh, I've beaten this game two, if not three times. I still go back and play it all over again. You can like build pretty much anywhere, so you can build bases all over the place. Mm, I don't really need to cure anything right now yet. Fabricator cooks small organisms while disposing of the skeletal structure, bodily fluids, and internal organs, thus rendering them safe for human consumption. Let's throw some stuff in here. Oops. Find a sea glide. Why am I even carrying this thing? I need to put this out. Oops. It's nice because I only have so much storage in that thing. I can launch this little guy. I got a floating locker. A lot more storage. Each time you start, it kind of puts you into a different area. All right. Well, hey, well, thanks for coming. Get some sleep. I will see you tomorrow. Right? Is it Thursday? Again tomorrow?
Thanks, I appreciate it. How's it going tonight? I see you made it. Are you, I, sure, I assume you're at home now. Hi, Patrick. Oh no, can I make it that far? <laughs> I think for tight for the tank it was just rubber I needed. Probably went way too far for that. That's the wrong tool. Come here! Stop running! You're swimming! here to the right. We have miscalculated. Self-scan, eh? Self-scan complete. Vital signs normal. Continuing to monitor. Dark does not help. I see some creep line over there. things are making the native fish angry oh boy Uh, it gets pretty crazy, especially when you get into like the really deep. Uh, the way the soundtrack and everything works is it is. I've had like almost panic attacks playing this game. <laughs>
So I can go up to the high capacity O2. Oh, nope, no, I can't. Still need to find silver ore for that. Fiber mesh. Titanium. And rubber. Pathfinder tool, already got a knife. Could make a flashlight, but I really need to go find the. Oh, I forget what it's called. The little propulsion thing of a jiggy. Sea glide! I really need a sea glide. I can make fence. Definitely need fence. Maybe we'll be able to swim faster. The fabricator draws from available data to provide environment appropriate equipment using locally available materials. For your safety, this setting cannot be overridden. All right. To make this free up some space. Do a flashlight. I don't need a beacon yet. To do a battery and glass. I can actually already make glass. Battery, we need copper. And two mushrooms. That one. One copper. So that. Don't need these things right now. That's all we needed for the battery, right? Really not. Oh, we needed the uh, other mushroom. That's easy. Not have to go far for that. Take it out of here. Did. Oops. Yay, battery. And now I can make a flashlight. That is true. Look at them feet. Did I put those fins on? Yep, they're on. Caution. Continued degradation of the Aurora's drive core may result in a point of deprivation. Continuing to monitor. Alright, now we need us a sea glide. I imagine it's going to be over here somewhere. of what you have. There it is. Hey. How convenient. One more. there. There we go. Oh, that's 
Jesus. Taking chances. That is an egg. Should be a shipwreck over here somewhere. Light around down here somewhere. Short range scans suggest this biome supports extensive biodiversity and connects to a number of small cave networks. Ooh, bioreactor. Nuclear waste disposal. A while before I need that. Seconds. Anyway. Dangerous. Integrating new PDA data. A surprise I have not found. Ooh, Ouch. Sea moth fragment. Er, sorry. Uh, yeah, sea moth. Is ship. Oh, my inventory's full. Thirty seconds. Yeah, oh, man. creature. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Guys shooting at me. Let's not go back down there. It's too far. Let's go back towards our thing a bit jiggy because it shouldn't be out this far. Good thing the marker is blue and everything else is blue. I guess I could change that. Yep, 
and th <laughs> these things are cool. You can take them and stick them to things and make them float. Sulfur deposits at the local cave systems. Sulfur is an essential component. I think this is uh, thirty seconds. Oh crap, there is. <laughs> Ow. Use these for oxygen. Just now realized my head is blocking all this stuff. <laughs> Did not think about that. Oh, is that the other piece of our uh, dig line? Yes, I can go build this stupid thing. think it's at. Hey, hey, Amy. What do we need for sea glide? We need lubricant, another battery, copper wire. I need two more of those mushrooms. A lubricant, I think. I already have something to make it that. Okay, can you this for lubricant? in construction of vehicles and power plants. Needed copper wire. Did I already have copper wire there? Or not copper wire, but copper. Oh, I have copper on me. Oh, I made copper wire. Give me copper wire. Alright, so I think I just need mushrooms. Took forever. Built my battery. And there we go. Your effective exploration range. For your safety, please pack supplies for long journeys and stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. Let's put this knife there. Let's get these out of the way. Hmm. 
To go get some water and such, so I don't get thirsty before we go on a trip. Exercise quotient by 500%. Data indicates that swimming was your favorite activity. Be sure to vary your routine for uniform muscle development. We are swimming because we don't have much of a choice, not for our recreation. some better fish than this. Thank you and you and you. Get over here. I have another message. need at least three. I need some water. Oops. Where's the free booze? This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam. Aurora D. Reed, over. Nothing but vacuum. These Altera ships, they run low on engine grease, they send an SOS, you offer to help, they don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's gonna take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. I'll try them again tomorrow. Damn charter's gonna have us blowing our credits running errands for Altera. See what the long range scans pick up in the meantime. <laughs> yeah, he is. I did put a mini fridge in my office. I really do need to get some beer for it. by me. It's a bit of a drive, though. Alright, where is that other... There it is. This weekend I had a uh, Kona big wave, which I've had 
many a time though, but it was good. New PDA data. I couldn't a big wave. New blueprint acquired. Anything else in here? Nope. Anything else laying around? Yeah. I don't drink a lot of beer, but most of the stuff I do is... I don't really like too many regular American beers. I like mostly like dark beers. And, uh... Uh... Ales and so on. No. Yeah. Yes, it is. I... I am not... A fan of Blue Moon. Not a big fan of beer that requires fruit to be palatable. <laughs> Do you like me a scotch though? Or any type of single malt for that matter? Good. Indeed. I know who you are. <laughs> All right, let's see. I haven't found silver ore yet. You told me earlier that you uh, followed me, and I don't exactly have a lot of followers yet, so I put two and two together as far as the time. Thus, I know who you are. <laughs> Same thing for Austin. Austin is a real dunce gamer, I think is his full name. On here. Yep. It's just a matter of deduction. What am I even doing? Is there... I have no other waypoints right now. Alright, let's offload some crap. Uh, let's let's uh, class to consolidate here. to hit that, but eh, I guess we'll need it later. I just packed all of my titanium into that little ignit. I wanted to consolidate. Like the green screen? 
Yeah. It's fun. Uh, yeah, earlier I did uh, start it off going with that. <laughs> All right. Warning. Local radiation readings suggest the Aurora's drive core has reached critical state. Quantum detonation will occur within two hours. So in two hours, that thing is going to explode. Magic. That is by far the closest thing I can get to magic. Because I suck at magic tricks. I have not. I have not really gotten to any crazy creatures yet. I, I started a whole new game, so I'm kind of towards the beginning still. But yeah, once I uh, get my Seamoth built and uh, start going over into the uh, crazier air areas, same. Maybe one of these nights I'll. Uh, or mornings, nights. I'll, uh, oh boy. Uh, top load. Oh boy. Uh, I'll uh, jump onto one of my other saves that I've actually beat the game on. Built some uh, pretty wicked bases. Look down at the. Uh, oh, I can't remember what it's called. Down deep. Oh, finally another message. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't warn us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing's trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Actually, if you want to see... You know what? Let's just go take a little adventure. I'll show you one of them since we're over here. Can't for the life of me remember what they're actually called. Oh, you know what? I don't know if I can go over there because I don't have a radiation suit. Well... May not be it may not be uh, emitting enough radiation to be dangerous. Once it explodes, I can't get anywhere close to this thing until I uh, have a radiation suit. Oh, yeah, nope, can't go over there. Not yet. But since I oh jeez. Leviathan. That's what they are. There's different classes of Leviathans. And uh, the main one guy is over there. Uh, in the fr uh, front of the Aurora. 30 seconds. Something right there and I can't get to it. There you go. I'm stuck.
I swore I saw something scannable over here. Oh, I just saw it again. Really? Just that thing? That's dumb. Grab trap over here. So either I already scanned these, they'll give me titanium. here really around here somewhere. This is when I was at a while ago. That's a problem. It is. Maybe I missed something. Closer to that thing right now. I'm gonna go back to a safe area over here. You guys want me to jump on my other game? Uh, where I have like pretty much everything and see that where I call it a night. I can go real deep with that thing. This one. Uh, I think it's this one. I don't remember where I'm at on this thing. solid state drive, otherwise it would take so much longer. Yes, I do. I work tomorrow. Tomorrow and Friday. Which base am I in? I think I'm on my above ground base right now. I am. Welcome aboard, Captain. Alright, so where is my sub? Sub's up there. <laughs> I 
Uh, I wish. I don't have anything in here. I did finally build a nuclear thing over here. Good on food, we're good on food. This my this thing's cool. Did an above ground observatory. There is my rocket ship and my sub. Go down deep. So I'm not gonna take my sea glide. I've got my prawn suits in my submarine already. I'll set it an observatory type of thing over here too. And I have got my nuclear plants over here. Four rods going. And a trash can to throw them away. It's naturally, you just throw them in a nuclear trash can. Here's my sub. Got my prawn suit in there. Why it's not opening. Not go far far enough. Anywho's. Welcome aboard, Captain. All my stores that took me online. forever to do. Torpedoes, my prawn suits and that guy. I got a little plants I can eat. I have all ion power cells, which also took forever to build. And let's go somewhere. Engine powering up. All right. I have not done this map in a while. I'm trying to remember how to actually. Or am I use a controller? I don't know how to actually go up and down with it. I may have to swap to the controller. That goes up. What goes down? Forward, reverse. Aha! B is down. I think it's a little complicated to drive. Got like all these like crazy cameras all over the place. Like camera one. How do I toggle the cameras? There we go. Where am I going? Lost River one. Dive, dive, dive. Certainly not the fastest thing in the world.
Now it's like when all the sounds start getting creepy, like notice the music has stopped. Here's my Lost World beacon. Remember which beacon's which? <laughs> I didn't do very good on naming these things. This is actually down there. I think I am lost a little bit. And that's when the music gets all freaking creepy. There's the front of my ship. on here. Let me see how we're doing. How do I get off this thing? You need to exit. We're doing all right. Uh, it's being jerks. Here's one of these. Like hordes, hordes are fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, where is this stupid entrance at? I had a beacon down here somewhere. All right. things. 
think I am on like the complete wrong side. So let's go this way. I am. Well, that should be right. There. Probably get there through this thing. Come over here and turn around. Uh, I mean, they, as far as that octopus guy, I mean, they have like EMPs. If I was like driving my other stuff, he could totally knock it out. But my submarine, I've got pretty good stuff on it. Push you out of the way for now. Time sick. I probably should have just brought my uh, other thing down here. It can't go as deep, but I can get deep enough with it. in the dark. I'm going to use this thing as my center point. So basically what I'm looking for is uh, I actually have like a cave I drive this thing into. If I can get close to this thing, I should just be able to do a quick spin. There's my stupid beacon. There it is. cave I usually drive into. This is not really something ideal sized to uh, there's actually bigger openings I could drive my sub through but hey it works. <laughs> Before I go too much further, I still have 90%. Power. Oh, yeah. We're doing good. It like, did like no damage. Why are my lights? Headlights off. I'm an idiot. Now oh, we got headlights. I guess when I turned my inside lights off and those on, but I apparently did the opposite. Like now we're going into this big cave and getting ready to go really deep underwater. Camera. Back towards the front. This is called the Lost River. I'm like literally like running through branches and stuff right now. I'll get out real quick just so you can actually see what's around me. It's kind of it's kind of wicked. I have plenty of power. I don't need to. So that over there is a ghost leviathan. Is a uh, He's somebody you don't mess with. He'll pretty much kill you in a heartbeat. 
Even if, even my sub, he'll destroy it with me in it. That's a pretty cool cinematic. It's happened. I cried. So my prawn suit actually may not open up until I get out of here. I'll show it to you later, though. I'll be at my uh, one of my underwater bases here shortly. All underwater, but my crazy deep base. All right. There are. Pretty much have to do this without getting killed by him. And you have to get at it, stuck out of trees. Stuck on. Yeah, I'm stuck on this thing. Why it's important to have all your cameras. I'm actually on the wrong side of this stupid tree. There's this like weird waterfall thing over here I have to go down. <laughs> I have to be careful because I go too high and he sees me. This crazy fall. It goes way down there. I have to start diving. Like I used to be terrified of those things, but they really don't mess with you too much down here. I mean, if I didn't have my ship, he would. Why aren't I diving? Wrong button. a skeleton for the leviathans and over here I forgot the name of this tree but basically these are like all the eggs for the leviathans supposedly and I built my egg my uh, base around it that's really pretty with a sub I actually can pack and recharge it over uh, heat vents so I'm gonna go park it on this volcano thingamajiggy over here it's also powering my base I'll park it on this one over here ship really needs to be recharged. Alright. 
It starts going up. Engine powering down. Need those. I can turn lights on. I need to get some food. Vital signs stabilizing. And now I can replant it. Wrong button. These things. Plant. Oop. Not more. And now for my prawn suit. This thing's pretty badass. And I can also charge this thing on the volcano as well. Got jump jets on it. And a grappling gun. This is a, another base I got. Welcome aboard, Captain. I had to build all of this. It is uh, something else. These are cool because uh, this is like a uh, scanner room. It's basically a map of everything down in these tunnels. I can go pick what element I want it to search, and it'll go search it. It'll show up on this map, and it'll show up on my HUD. chargers and stuff. I actually don't have a lot in here, surprisingly. Water filtration. More plants. Storage. It's actually a pretty small base. But uh, end game is actually not too far from here. There's a whole... This goes even further. There's even a whole other volcano thing over there. I'll show you real quick. This thing is that uh, it's got a, my regular grappling gun. I can just like slingshot myself in a drill. Here it gets super freaking difficult. These guys like warp you out of your uh, prawn suit all the time. But now we're getting like in the volcano area. Uh, hello. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. So if I wanted to drill. Drill some titanium. As one does. We are 1700 meters 
no, no, my maximum is 1700 meters. We're at 11, 1100. Uh, that's called a warper. I don't like them. They're mean. Like, you'll literally just be going, and all of a sudden they just warp you out of your uh, prawn suit. One up there. Need more over here, too. There's another one. I tried to avoid them. They sound wicked. Oh, is that like weird sound? Over here is the, uh, I can't remember his name. He's basically the, like, dragon leviathan. And he will kick my ass. We're gonna try to avoid him. Miss him when you see him. Trying to remember where the whole area is. Oh, crap. Well, my game just went black. I guess I'm probably gonna die. <laughs> oh boy. That was like a bad time for my screen to like minimize. wicked. Yeah, I can't beat him. You actually literally cannot. You pretty much avoid him. 
there's actually a whole uh, area over there. Uh, but you have to go to to get into the hub, which I literally don't have to go this way anymore because I've already established that. If I can actually go in, uh, I actually have a base over by the actual other side of the hub, so I can just actually just warp to it on my own. But yeah. I'm going to run away now like a coward. <laughs> I'm actually just kind of like running around because I'm kind of surprised none of the warpers have worked me out of this thing yet. I already have all the upgrades, but these things are good to get because these are like super useful. actually going to call it a night. back over here. This thing is... Oh, nope, I went the wrong thing. There we go. Ah. Ah. So. Uh, if you work tomorrow, we'll see you then. If you don't work while you work, thanks for joining. It was fun. Um... I might stream again in the morning. I don't know. If I get up at 8, I might uh, stream a little bit. Play something else. I don't know what I'm to play yet tomorrow. But uh, thanks for coming in. Have a good rest of your night. Laters.